Hi, Pisces. <laughs> Welcome to your October 2018. Lovely it is. For the month of October. Did I say that right? But anywho, I hope you've been doing fine. I missed you guys since September. Even though that wasn't too long ago. But I hope everything has been too legit to quit for you guys to ignore some of them. So here's the deal. We have a new deck. It's the Before Tarot. You guys know that I love the After Tarot. So I pre-ordered the Before Tarot. It's here. I'm ecstatic and I'm so excited. And that's what we're going to use. And I also got a new Oracle deck, you know, like little spirit animals. But the uh, word on the street is with those is that whenever you pull them after a reading that they're uh, eerily accurate. Which makes me now want to pull them. We're going to see. Clear and direct guidance for Pisces. I'm totally winging it. I knew it was going to do stuff different, but I was like, I just want to, you know, see how people spirit. Let me get clear and direct guidance for Pisces, please, spirit. Please let me know what is going on in their love lives for eh, the month of October. heart to heart conversations we have retreat and we have soulmate oh my goodness so for some of you guys this is interesting this is interesting I just accidentally did something I didn't intend to do and this works so heart to heart conversations is my couples Retreat is for my married couples. So this could be situationship for couples. And this is for my single and dating people that may not have met someone or will meet someone. I didn't even intend to do that, but as soon as I looked at these, I was like, that's what's happening. So heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna start with you guys. Heart to heart conversations. So this is for my people who are and couples not married or you know you're in a situation ship or something you know what I'm saying I'm just gonna say couples I'm gonna say committed couples that aren't married yet I'll say that my single and well no I guess situation ship people identify more with like relationships so heart to heart conversations the thing that I'm feeling with this off the bat is if you are in a situation ship the thing that's gonna help you a great deal is if you're honest with your partner about what it is that you're feeling so say if you're in a situation ship and um you know you're kind of going with the flow or going with the flow because they said they want to go with the flow type of deal but if you actually want a commitment i feel like it's imperative during this time that you're honest about that because i feel like with some of you guys some of you guys are with people who aren't really about that commitment life so spirit please give me a card for the past energy that my let me sit these out of the way Give me a card for the past energies that my Pisces people have been experiencing and what's not or what's not. My people who are in couples or situations just for spirit. Let me get one card. Every part of me wants to be three, but hey, we'll be here all day. Get yeah, one card for the past energy for Pisces. For the spirit. What? Oh my gosh, this is gonna fall. Ah, ah. This one was at the bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles. Okay. 
That makes sense. Okay, so for some of our Pisces people who are coupled or in situationships, past tense things have not really been equal. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the person that you're with has been asking for quite a lot, and rightfully so. <clears throat> You've been giving, but I think you're fully aware that things aren't really equal you know what i'm saying like you're you're fully aware of the fact that they're not giving like you're giving right and now i feel like it's imperative oh my gosh that's where my little thing went i was looking all over for this can i connect my microphone i'm gonna mess everything up sorry pisces i was looking all over for this thing and it was connected to my medicine bag which is insanity there we go merry christmas <laughs> so anyway the thing that i feel is like past tense with you guys things there's been an inequality in the relationship and you've been giving a lot more than you've been receiving because i can tell that you really care about this person but the thing that's important here is for you to speak up honestly about what it is that you're actually expecting out of this you know what i mean because i always say that what people are doing is simply what they're doing so it's like if they're telling you that they're not committed or you know they're not putting as much effort into this relationship as you would like i feel that it's imperative for you guys to kind of speak up about that because it's very clear to you that it's not an equal give and take you're putting in a lot more and i even get the vibe for a lot of you guys and this is situationship people that some of you guys are a lot more committed to the person than they are to you and for um people who are in couples like committed relationships like with a title and all that good stuff i feel like for some of you guys your partner is a tad bit emotionally unavailable so it just seems like they're just not there you know what i mean and it's almost like you're always the one that has to initiate everything spirit let me get one card for the present energy for pisces please spirit Mm, this one <clears throat> the nine of pentacles so right now you guys are just content you're a-ok -okay. for some of you if you guys are like living together some of you guys it's just um it may be a financial deal you know what i'm saying where it's like you kind of don't want to rock the boat but i feel like you guys are just okay you know what i'm saying like you're content you're not you're not overflowing with happiness and whatever it is that you guys feel like is lacking you know what i mean like i mean if it's because it could be anything it could be i do the dishes and you don't ever do housework and we both work type of deal but whatever it is that you guys feel like is unequal in your partnership it's time for you guys to address that you know what i'm saying because you don't want to be just okay or putting your energy towards other things like side hobbies or throwing yourself into work because you're not fulfilled in um, you know, your relationship. Whoa. Temperance. This is your card going forward. So going forward, you guys wanna balance things out. Simply that. And I feel like with this conversation, it's gonna do that. Because for those of you who are with someone who just may not, like, you know, if you guys have been together for a while and they're just not aware that, you know, cause sometimes we fall off, you know? But I think if you guys are honest about what it is that you're feeling, you know what I'm saying? Acknowledging first and foremost that you're, you know, you're okay, but you're not magnanimous. You're not the 10 of cups, you're the nine. You're almost there, you know? There isn't any quality, but I feel like with you guys talking it out and getting everything on the table, whatever their reaction is, whether if it's in detest to what you're saying or if it's in alignment, it's going to balance things out. Even if that means, you know, you guys going forward into another situation. You know what I'm saying? So for my married people who have the retreat card and it says time, it's time to disconnect from your world. So it could be that you guys have had um, a lot of people up in your space. And this is like the vibe that I'm feeling from this is interesting because it's usually um, the energy that I feel like around holiday time. Like, you know, when you have a whole bunch of family members that are coming in like from out of town and it's like there's people, you know, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, mom, dad, mother-in-law, father-in-law, like people constantly in and out of your house. <laughs> and it's almost like being drained by having so many people. So I don't know if you guys are like in, um, I don't know why I get the vibe of like, I don't even know. 
I don't think I'm just gonna say it the vibe that I get is like um like spiritual leaders so like a husband and wife that are spiritual leaders and literally the vibe that I got was like a church but the reason why I'm like reluctant because I'm like why would pastors be watching a tarot reading I won't tell if you won't but anyway <laughs> the vibe that I got and I literally saw like a mega church but the vibe that I get is like a husband and wife that are spiritual leaders so whether you're pastors preachers ministers or you know I don't know you guys run a spiritual collective i don't know whatever the case may be i feel like what you guys work because and this is for a married couple that works together so it's like whatever you do it's something that's community oriented the first thing i saw was a church but it's something that's community oriented where you guys work with a large number of people on a regular basis it could even be someone who works like with homeless people or something like that like a mission or something of the sort but um you guys have been exerting a lot of energy into your purpose which is super dope but i feel like both of you guys are kind of drained and it's time for you all to um <clears throat> to kind of take some time to yourself whoa <sighs> mm. okay I'm not going to take all these, but this is the Hierophant, the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, and um, the Seven of Pentacles. So the thing that I'm getting from this is confirmation of the fact of you guys being in the spiritual arena. So being like spiritual teachers and you guys following your passion and almost like it's because I really feel like it's a it's a this is a dope couple. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's literally like both of you had the passion and the vision and it's like you guys have gotten to the point to where you've worked hard to manifest this thing that both of you felt like called to do like legit but i feel like you guys have put in enough work at the point now that you deserve a vacation because it's like i feel like you guys have been putting a, like exerting a lot of effort into this but it's like it started off as just like a seed like a dream and if all these cards don't stop flipping out, this is interesting. Okay, real talk. Now, this is something I'm going to keep. These are two tens, okay? We got the ten of wands and we got the ten of swords. So, the thing that I'm seeing here with this is, and that's so funny because we had the page. We had the page of wands and the page of swords. So, the thing that I'm seeing is you guys are nearing burnout. And it's going to creep up on you if you guys don't decide to kind of take you may literally need to go on a retreat in real life, like a yoga retreat or something, or, you know, any kind of vacation. I mean, a retreat would be cool, like a meditation retreat or something, but whatever, you know, float your boat. But the thing that I'm seeing is here, this is a closing off of a cycle because you guys can't keep on like this because truth be told, in saying this as a, a fellow helping professional, that is exactly how compassion fatigue happens. It's like, you know, when, you, when you're in a helping profession, if we don't take care of ourselves, we can easily get to a point where we get completely burnt out and we completely lose sight of why it is that we were doing anything in the first place. So the thing is, is that with the page of wands that fell out, it's like, or first with the Hierophant, this lets me know that it legit is like a divine calling. So spirit did lead you guys to do this, right? And both of you have this shared passion and massive vision for this thing that you guys <clears throat> are doing and you have put in the hard work like you guys literally started from ground zero like planted the seed and you've been like with it every step of the way but the key is now it's time for you guys to kind of take a step back and recuperate because if you don't you're seriously going to burn out because you guys are overburdening yourselves and of course yes we do want to you know till the ground that um we've sown into but it's important for you guys to make taking care of yourself a priority because i feel like for both of you guys it's like it may be another opportunity that's been offered to you or like i don't know maybe another something another program or something that you guys are, are trying to start but if you guys don't take a break before you start this new leg of the journey it's like burnout is gonna sneak up on you guys like whoa <laughs> and we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse in your present so literally there needs to be a nice little halt you know to all this dedication and hard work you guys have been putting in okay you know 
And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with taking a little break. Y'all just need this. Here, let me get one card for this beautiful, wonderful couple that's doing this wonderful humanitarian work together and things and whatnot or whatever. You know? Let me get an outcome card for them, please. Spirit. One card. One card only. None of this, all these cards falling out all over the place stuff. One card. One card only. Oh my gosh, what is that? Okay, I'm not going to take that. Sorry. Come on. <gasps> Two. All right. We have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Wands again. But with the After Tarot, this is slightly different. So this is you guys taking Princess's vice, vice, advice. I can't talk right now. Don't judge me. So this is you guys taking Princess's advice and releasing the burden. It's letting the burden down and going on vacation, bag nabbit. And what's going to happen after that? You guys are going to be happy. Everything's going to be balanced, you know. And then you guys are going to be able to come back with a vengeance. I can also say, got three tens. Um, I can also say with this, guys. Ooh. Interesting. Anyway, I can also say with this, guys, that this married couple specifically, like, you guys are, like, destined to be together on some stuff. I think what you guys have is something that so many people aspire to have, to share your life with someone who shares, like, your mission and your vision and your calling. Kudos to you guys. We all aspire to have what you all have, Jack Nabbit, but you need to take care of yourselves. Y'all are both like little workaholics and stuff. What is really going on? I can't say nothing. That's how I'm end up. <laughs> oh, let me not put that back in there. Okay. And now on to my single people, my single people. Y'all got y'all a little soulmate going on here, you know? Yes, this is your soulmate. Spirit, can I get a past energy from a little single Pisces? So either you guys have just met this person or this is someone that you're gonna meet going forward. Oh my gosh, you guys are meeting your soulmate because you wrapped up that karma. Congratulations, little Pisces person, stop. See, all you had to do was leave that little jerk alone and decide that you deserved so much better than them. Now this person is gonna come in, they could be a Libra person, you know what I'm saying? Could be a little Libra. Can I get a card for the present energy for Pisces? Please. Spirit, one card, one card only. One card. One card for Pisces for their present energy. Whoa, what is this? What is that? What is this? Ooh, the Queen of Wands. So, for some Pisces menses or Pisces ladies who like ladies, it could be an fire sign person, which is a Leo and Aries or a Sagittarius person. Other than that, that's you guys showing up as open, as fulfilled, embodying joy and passion, being led by spirit and your creativity, you know, and kind of being your own boss in a sense, not saying self-employment. I mean, you could be self-employed, but I'm saying that you're your own boss in a sense that you've taken ownership of yourself back from whomever you submitted it to. And I feel like this clarity came for you guys after this cycle kind of wrapped up. So um, when was that? Was that the Saturday, last Saturday or the Saturday before last, when I kind of felt that shift? Um, oh, I think it was on the Equinox. So this may have been when you guys kind of felt that, like you felt like that wrap up of um, energy. Going forward, you guys have the Three of Wands. So this is like waiting on spirit's timing. So I feel like for some of you guys, a, a great number of you, I think most of you are gonna resonate with the fact that you've called in a soulmate. Like this is something that you um, you opened up to spirit about. It's something that you've declared that you wanted. You know what I mean? And you guys have stepped into your power and you're radiating that into the universe. You're no longer looking at what has happened past tense and you're only looking to the future and that's where you're sowing your energy into. But I believe that you guys made have made a decision to choose yourself, but the beautiful thing about all of this is is that um 
you guys are willing to wait on spirit. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you being empowered in who and what you are that you're not willing to settle for anything less than that anymore. You know what I mean? So it's like you guys are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Surrender? I don't want to necessarily say surrender. That's not the word I'm looking for. But you guys are in alignment. It's just like you've kind of, uh, why am I thinking of that song? It's a song I used to sing in church. Break every chain. It's like you guys literally, I feel like, have just taken off like the old school jacket and you're just like, I got this new one, bump that. I sent it to the thrift store, you know, and you guys are looking forward to the future. But I do feel like you guys are, I just cannot think of this word. It's not surrendered, maybe submitted. It's almost like, the way that I would describe it is that you guys have entered flow. So it's like you're legit waiting on spirits quickening to be like, okay, it's okay, go. And I feel like with that is waiting on this person. So it could be a Leo person. It could be a fire sign person, but whatever the case uh, is, whatever their sign is, it really doesn't matter one way or the other. I feel like when you meet this person, them being a mirror reflection of you is how you're going to know that this is them. You know what I'm saying? This is a whole lot of gateway type of stuff going on. You guys are legit in a new cycle. And what I'm saying, like a reflection of you in the sense that they resonate with you. Like they're on the stuff that you're on, if that makes sense. So Spirit, let me get three cards. The first one for my couple and situationship people. The second for my married people. The third for my single people. <clears throat> three cards, Spirit. This is the new deck that I got, the new Oracle. And allegedly, it's like the spirit animals thing. Spirit animal messages or something of the sort. But allegedly, these are eerily accurate. So Spirit, let me get three cards for my Pisces. The first one for my couple and situationship people. You know what? I'm lying. We're going to do four. Let me get one for my couples, one for my situationship people, one for my married people, and one for my single people. So four cards, spirit. I thank you in advance. Couples, situationships, married and single. For my couple people, you guys have the grus. I think that's how you say that. Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. If that's not an interesting date night. <laughs> so for my couple people, where you guys have kind of gotten content and may have kind of fallen off into a routine, and these were you guys cards the whole heart to heart conversation you know the whole like unevenness because you guys have kind of gotten settled in your ways and consent you know you need to shake things up and rebalance things out so if it's that you guys have kind of get caught in the routine kids and things of the sort it's like a little date night where you guys get to express yourselves and do something a little you know out there that would be an interesting thing to do i'm not even gonna lie to you so my situationship people we have the peacock let yourself stand out and be noticed. I think you need to stand out and let yourself be noticed with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Or if this heart-to-heart -heart conversation does not go as well, then you're going to go out peacocking as a newly single person. You know what I'm saying? For my married people, we have the dog. It says your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. Oh my goodness, married people. So true. The many masters that you guys have been serving is this mission. Like this whole thing that you guys have been doing, it's like too much of a good thing can sometimes be bad. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't want no burnout. So you guys legit need to take a vacation. Spend some time with each other. You guys have become a servant to your mission and it's good to be a servant leader, but not to the point to where you're depleting yourself. You know what I'm saying? Now, single people, we have the penguin. It says the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. Holy spadoodles, didn't I say? A little karma, all these little gateways going on. You looking to the future and whatnot. Oh my gosh, straight up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So these cars are kind of eerily accurate. 
that's what's up so anyway pisces that has been your october love reading i love your freaking faces and i will see you guys sooner than later okay the last surprise is that i got magenta but you probably noticed that okay deuces <laughs>